let's start by creating a couple different display states. So I'm gonna take the default one, and I'm gonna rename it to A, and then I'm going to create a, another display state, and let's call this one B. So with A selected, let's go in and let's apply a decal. So what I wanna do is I wanna add the requested trademark, so let's just drag and drop that, and I'm gonna add that to the model. Now if I scroll down here a bit, notice that right now it's only being applied to this display state, which means it's being applied to the active display state. So I've got the decal position where I want it, click the check mark, and we can see that it's now applied. Now let's also go in there and let's edit the scene because perhaps what I'd like to have this scene is I would like to have this three point blue background. So we'll just drag and drop that. Again, as I scroll down, notice that it's currently only being applied to this display state. So we'll click check mark to accept that. Okay, well going back to display states, let's go back to B. Let's go back in and let's apply a, another decal. So let's take the barcode and we'll just drag and drop the barcode on there. <laughs> Looks like a, a good zebra print, but we'll do that. And let's also take a color, and not that colors are new, but we'll take the color and we'll apply the color as well to that. And again, let's go into the scene. Let's go into presentation scenes. Let's take the kitchen background. And again, we can see the state that's being applied to. So we'll click the check mark and now we can see the scene that's been applied. So if I go back to my display states and I flip back and forth, notice how it now captures or can capture the scene as well as decals. So a great new way of presenting your information with your configuration so you can quickly show, show the various things. Okay, we'll continue on here. Let's go to view, let's go into display and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the section view. So let's just drag the section view out a little bit. And as I scroll down in here, notice the new option to transparently section components. So I'm gonna pick this outer casing because I would like that to be transparent. I'd like it to be about 75% translucent and I'll click the check mark to apply that. Decal's kind of getting in the way, but you can see how it has sectioned the components, but it's left that component translucent so we can actually see it. So a great way to kind of, you know, see inside something, section so we can see inside, but still get an idea of the outer shape. So again, another another great feature enhancement in, in that aspect. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this outer casing. Let's actually open that up. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna verify that I'm able to 3D print this. So I'm gonna to go to the file and I'm gonna go to my print 3D function and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to select the bottom plane of the model and I'm going to rotate around and pick that plane but then offset it to the geometry. So real quick, I pick the plane to set the orientation but then I offset it so all the geometry fits. Now that actually wouldn't make that much sense to 3D print, would it? But let's just leave it there and let's um, Let's just continue on here. Actually, let's let's change that. Let's let's pick. There we go. So we'll pick that one as what we'll do, and again we'll offset the geometry, to make sure it fits. Now I can change the orientation. I can rotate it. I can you know scale it to fit. Maybe back that off a bit. And then the quality here is medium. But what's important is that when I go to the preview side here, is that I can actually set the layer height, as well as I can actually do thickness and gap analysis. So I can say, you know, my thickness is two millimeters. And now when I click calculate, it goes through and it highlights areas of concerns. So now in the preparation for it to 3D print, you can have it check for um, wall thickness and gap issues, potential issues for 3D printing it. So that's SolarWorks 2017, a couple of my favorite new features within the model display section.